July 29, 2021, 55-year-old America Mafalda Thayer was found beheaded in Shakopee, Minnesota on Spencer and Fourth. Tonight to remember 55-year-old America Thayer. She was brutally murdered in Shakopee yesterday. And today we're learning more about Thayer, the suspect in her death and what half what friends have described as a troubling relationship between the two. And Fox 9's Mary McGuire joining us with more on this story. Mary? Well, there is some really gruesome video of this crime circulating on social media, which Fox 9 is choosing not to show. Friends and co-workers who came to the vigil tonight say they want America to be remembered as the sweet and kind person that she was, not for the tragic way that she died. I'm never forgotten. Holding a sign and balloons, Faith Howie and her family came to the intersection of 4th Avenue and Spencer Street to honor the life of their neighbor, America Thayer. When we take a closer look at the grisly, satanic ritual, human sacrifice of 55-year-old America Thayer, it becomes clear that there's a lot of symbolism hidden in this event. Let's start with the obvious. The name America, of course, represents the country, America. 55-year-old immigrant who prosecutors say legally changed her name to America to when America. she got her citizenship. To America. To America. We'll explore this America. name deeper a little later in this study. This event took place in Shakopee, Minnesota. Shakopee comes from Shakopee, which means six, and the Roman numeral four six is VI. Therefore, the number six in Minnesota is connected through the Minnesota Vikings. The name Viking is V-I King or Six King and is a reference to the horned god, the sixth god, Saturn or the serpent, Satan. The number 55 represents death as presented in the song Old 55 by Tom Waite. The scriptures tell us that the devil had the power of death in Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 through 15 which declare, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil and deliver them who, through fear of death, were all their lifetime subject to bondage. The number 55 is also the pyramid hand sign or delta, since you use five fingers on each hand to form the pyramid or delta symbol. We know that this symbol represents the new world order we also know that Delta means change and connects to Barack Obama and his meeting with the Deltas who represent the Scarlet Woman or Mystery Babylon. Delta is also a reference to the Delta variant of coronavirus. America's decapitated body was thrown out of a Chrysler 300. The symbol for Chrysler is the pentagram inside of a pentagon which connects back to the pentagon officer who was stabbed in the neck as well as the coronavirus testing site at Mills Pond Park which is designed as a pentagram. The Chrysler 300 also uses the sun disk with wings as its logo which represents Horus the sun god and points to Obama whose logo is the rising Sun. America was decapitated on Spencer and Forth. The name Spencer literally means one who dispenses, as in justice. The number four represents Dalet, the fourth letter in the Hebrew Aleph Bet, which is the same as the Delta or Pyramid and represents the New World Order as well. Therefore, the decapitation of America signals the death of America and the birth of the New World Order. America's death also signals to us that death by decapitation will be instituted or dispensed 
as a form of justice in the new world order because decapitation will be the method in which those who refuse to worship the beast will be killed. We are told this in Revelation chapter 20 verse 4 which declares, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given to them. And the souls of those having been beheaded because of the testimony of Yahushua and because of the word of God and those who did not worship the beast nor his image and did not take the mark upon the forehead and upon their hand and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. We know that America is connected with the goddess Columbia who gave birth to the new world. We see her symbol in the logo for Columbia Pictures and in the Statue of Liberty. Interestingly enough, the book held by this goddess of liberty is engraved with the date July 4th or Independence Day, which connects it to the theme of rebellion and revolution. Columbia is also identified as Isis, Astarte, Semiramis, and Ishtar, the Queen of Heaven, and Hor of Babylon. Remember, we were shown a depiction of the goddess Columbia losing her corona, crown, or head previously. I will take responsibility for this. It was my mistake. We also saw a symbolic demonstration of the death of America and her subsequent collapse when Wendy Williams passed out while dressed as the Statue of Liberty. The show cut to black and went to an extra long commercial break, nearly six minutes long. But when it did come back on, Wendy was back up. That was not a stunt. Notice, after she collapsed, they took a six minute break as a reference to the Viking, Six King, or Six God, Satan. Also notice the Delta symbol Wendy is posing in front of. The show cut to black and went to an extra long commercial break, nearly six minutes long. But when it did come back on, Wendy was back up. That was not a stunt. The name Wendy is a reference to the winds of change, which points to Chicago, the Windy City. The name Williams means resolute, determined, and strong-willed leader. This points to Obama as the leader of the coming change in the new world order that is birthed from that change. They have been telegraphing the coming death and destruction of America for quite some time now. The word America comes from Amaru, which is of Incan origin and means large snake. Amaru is a mythical serpent or dragon most associated with the Inca empires. The Amaru was believed to have supernatural powers and was the herald of sudden change in the natural world. This serpent was often depicted as coming out of the depths and from mountains, caves, or rivers. It was also seen as the bringer of revolutions or rebellion, rain, and the winds of change. Because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, change has come to America. Interestingly enough, Tupac Shakur's middle name was Amaru. We know that he was depicted as a false messiah, and he was staying at the Luxor Hotel, which is shaped like a pyramid on the night he was sacrificed. But we'll get deeper into that in another video. The Amaru could also cross to and from the spiritual underworld. The name Mafalda is an Argentine comic strip written and drawn by cartoonist Kino. The strip features a six-year-old girl named Mafalda. Remember, America Mafalda Thayer 
was killed in Chakopee, which means six. In the comic, Mafalda reflects the Argentinian middle class and progressive youth, and she is concerned about humanity and world peace. This connects back to Madonna's performance in 2012 at Super Bowl 46, where she began her performance by simulating giving birth to the Antichrist, and she ended it with the symbol of a phoenix rising from its ashes and the words, world peace, underneath it. A Dollar Tree store clerk keeps stopping by at the memorial to pay respects. <laughs> and we just wanted to wish her so much love and so much peace, so much peace. It so should be noted so that in 2012, peace, so during Super Bowl 46, so the 44th president, Barack Obama, was in the White House. And Chrysler ran a pro-Obama ad during the Super Bowl. Remember, America's decapitated body was thrown from a Chrysler. Super Bowl 46, officially the single most watched TV program in history, and a big win for the New York Giants. But it wasn't just the action on the field that caused fireworks today. One Super Bowl ad set off some political fireworks as well. And new ABC News poll gives President Obama something to cheer about, as ABC's Jake Tackler explains. The ad from Chrysler ran during halftime of the Super Bowl and featured Clint Eastwood talking about how it was also halftime in America. The people of Detroit know a little something about this. They almost lost everything, but we all pulled together. Now Motor City is fighting again. It's halftime America, and our second half's about to begin. The ad immediately became a political football, with aides to President Obama tweeting it out approvingly embracing it as rah-rah for President Obama's auto industry bailout. The symbolism found in this game was clear. The Giants, who represented the Nephilim, fallen angels, defeated the Patriots, who represented America. Through the orchestrated ritual, which is the Super Bowl, they were pointing to the coming destruction of America to make way for the birth of the Antichrist and his new world order.